everybody, and welcome to Take Your Time Gaming. I'm your host, Katie. We're now on episode 31 of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Uh, last episode, we cleared Route 15, and we have started exploring Fuchsia City. So I expect that we may be getting into a gym battle this episode, or we'll explore Pokemon Road. I don't know. Don't get your hopes up. We'll see. But anyway, <laughs> grab a tasty beverage, and let's get started. So let's talk to this man and see what he has to say. The Safari Zone has the Playful Park out in front. Outback is the Go Park Complex. We're just going to barge into these people's houses. A forgetful old man used to live here, but I heard he moved to Route 12. Indeed, his name is Mr. Dazzling. <laughs> it sure is convenient having a Pokemon Center next door, but it means my rent is really high. <laughs> Lola Nightail's getting stuck behind the table there. And my team does need to be healed. Poor Kitsune is still poisoned. So let's do that really quickly. And then we can go explore the Pokemon Go Park. And all I know about it is that you can transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go there. I don't know how it works, so this is going to be new to me too. I'm not really a big Pokemon Go player. Uh, I, th I think my character is like level 23 or something, but I've never even tried battling in a gym or anything. It just doesn't really appeal to me. Eevee! She's saying hi to the Slowpoke! And the Kangaskhan. Oh, Baby Kanga is so cute! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Chancy. Ah! I thought the Taurus was going to trample my Eevee. It's an Omenite. Oh, I'm glad Eon's having fun. That's so sweet. Safari Zone. It's brimming full of different Pokemon. Well, of course, we have to talk to every Pokemon. Because you know I don't see an overworld Pokemon and not click on it. Oh, look, a Volter. That Pokeball over there, were you wanting that? Well, so was I. Huh? That's actually a Pokemon? Do you see the eyeballs? <sighs> I used to have one of you. Safari Zone, Playful Park Office. Okay, I can't talk to you behind your desk. We nicknamed the Warden Slowpoke, because, you know, he has that vacant look like a Slowpoke. Wow, that's nice. This week's goal at the Safari Zone. Wake up even earlier than the Pokemon do. That sounds hellish. I thought I caught a glimpse of something gold and shiny out toward Route 19. Maybe it was some kind of buried treasure? Nope, it was the Warden's teeth. So yes, it is 19. Warden Slowpoke is very knowledgeable about Pokemon. He even has some fossils of Pokemon I've never seen. Ever since Warden Slowpoke went fishing the other day, it's been hard to understand him. All he does is mumble and moan. Maybe his age is finally getting to him? Okie doke. And a Chansey. I love Lapras. This Lapras is getting on in age, but it's still a real beauty, wouldn't you say? We used to ride on waves and travel the whole wide world together. Lapras can't swim like it used to, so we'll stay here together. Thank you for listening. As thanks, I'll teach you the secret technique sea skim! Yes! With this technique, you can travel on water. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Your Eevee wants to learn it as well? I'm not sure if it can learn it. It's not water type. Keon's like, don't let that stop you. 
You look determined, just like my Lapras. Okay, I'll teach you the technique then. Now, you have to keep balance on the water. Lower the center of gravity and keep balance with your upper body. Eon learned the secret technique C skim. Sweet, because there is an item on Route 12 that is on a min mini island that I want to get. You did great! I'll give you that board, too. R ride waves and travel the whole wide world together. Yay! A new secret technique. Can't talk to the Lapras. There's the Omanides. Cute little Psyduck. Yeah, once we find the Warden's secret teeth, secret teeth, lost teeth, secret teeth. It's kind of creepy if somebody has secret teeth. <laughs> but uh, once we find that, we should be learning yet another secret technique. Go park complex ahead. Pokemon Chase. It's the famous herding game everyone loves. We'll see. Sarah. Now where did Eric go? He's the one who wanted to come here. He's outside. Pokemon brought from Pokemon Go look like they're having fun in the Go Park complex. I'm meeting my dad here. He's gonna give me the Pokemon he caught. I hope he comes back soon. <laughs> Kid, your dad's never coming back. Yay, my big sis is sending her Pokemon to my Nintendo Switch. Here, let me give you the Kangaskhan, Ponyta, and Dratini I caught. I want all of those. Welcome to the Go Park Complex. What would you like to do? Hear explanations. About bringing Pokemon. You can bring your Pokemon from Go to Go Park. This is to pair your game with a Pokemon Go account. The Pokemon brought from Go playing in a Go Park. Go and speak to a Pokemon to try to catch it or to move it to a different Go Park. Once you catch a Pokemon in a Go Park, you want it to return to a Go Park. If you want to leave a Go Park, press the X button. Okay. If you have 25 of the same species of Pokemon, you will be able to use the Play Yard. Oh, well, I definitely don't have 25 of one species of Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can do this together. Why not? Oops, I have a missed call. And a voicemail. Oops. I'll check that later. Alright, so if I open up my Pokemon Go... First, let's go to the menu. We're learning together. Options. Open Pokemon Go settings. Okay. Yes. It's open. Do I need to do anything special on this? <laughs> um, settings maybe? I don't know. Let me see. No, that's not it. Alright, so I found connect to Nintendo Switch on the settings menu, so I'm doing that now. So this way, if any of you guys ever want to try this, you're going to know how to do it. Talk to each other. So many swirling thingies. Yay! Do you want to pair your game with it? Yes. Nocturna 777. Pairing complete. Cool. All right. That was easy. Do you want to transfer a Pokemon just for fun? See what it's like? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's bring a Pokemon.
Sorry, my allergies are acting up and it's cold. Um, do I have to do it again? Like, go to the settings again? Crap. It just canceled it. Alright, this is not that fun for me. <laughs> Probably not that fun for you guys either. I thought this was gonna be educational and go quickly, but apparently, despite the fact that they're three feet separating my Switch and my phone, they're having difficulty speaking to each other. So, you know what? I think I'm. I don't care that much. What I'll do is, I know what I'll do. I'll do this off screen and hopefully see if I have a Marowak in my Pokemon Go account and then we can trade it for the Alolan Marowak. So I'm gonna cut here because this is boring and come back to you guys when this is all done. Well, that was a bust. I spent five minutes trying to reconnect it and it just wouldn't, they couldn't talk to each other for some reason. So I'll try again later. Uh, but I was tired of waiting when I just want to play Pokemon. So I will try it again at some point. Uh, simply because I want to see if I have a Marowak. But I don't know why they wouldn't talk to each other again. Kind of frustrating. But I say we go tackle the gym leader before we go explore the Pokemon road. Because I'm just feeling like we need another gym badge. Look at my timestamp, okay. The poisonous ninja master, here we come. Cool, it looks awesome! Oh, I love the, the wooden cutouts. Yo, champ in the making! We have the safari zone here in Fuchsia City where you can meet tons of different Pokemon. And at the Fuchsia City gym, we welcome trainers who've met lots of Pokemon, so... I'll need to see if you managed to catch at least 50 species of Pokemon. Well done! Looks like you've got 55 species. That means you are now worthy of challenging my gym. Oh! Oh snap! Fwahahaha! <laughs> Startled my by my disguise, are you? I shall use my intricate style to confound and destroy you in battle as well. That was kind of cool, actually. I'm amazed every time I see that. He looked just like me, right? Now head on in. Experience his moves for yourself. <laughs> that was cool. Alright. How are you feeling, Alolan Ninetales? This is a terrible gym for you. Ninetales is poking and playing with the ground. Okay, well. Whatever, whatever floats your boat, girly. Stop right there! What do you think about the famed invisible walls of the Fuchsia City Gym? So it seems they haven't done much to this gym. A lot of the others have been altered in some way, but Fuchsia City looks the same with the invisible maze. You're challenged by Tamer Phil. Why do they have lollipops? I don't get it. They have a whip and a lollipop. Alright, Kitsune. I'm sorry I left you poisoned for so long. Whoa! What? Toxic connects even when I'm underground? Lame. Well, Kitsune, you're just not gonna be not poisoned for quite a few episodes. Ouch. Oh, thank you! Good girl! Hopefully Nidorina uses Crunch again and not Toxic. Damn it. Poor Kitsune, oh my god, I feel so bad for her. Ah, oh, she's almost leveled too. Ouch. 
Now, toxic damage increases each time uh, at the end of each turn. Unlike normal poison damage, being badly poisoned is different. Yeah, we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch to someone who is not affected by poison, or at least by toxic. My faithful bug. Doing a psychic. Man, that was dumb with the Pokemon Go part. Oh, so close. Well, I'm gonna do this. Recover just a little HP. That was like three points. Not bad. Whoa, you've got it. 2,460 Poké Dollars. You impressed me. Here's a hint. Look very closely for gaps in the invisible walls. Is that how you navigate a maze? Whoa, that's crazy. That's crazy talk. Strength isn't the only key for Pokémon. Do you understand this? Pokémon battles are about strategy. I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength. Ace Trainer Caden. So you saying I ain't right down with the strategery? Because that insults me. Rampage versus Muck. This is not a nice battle. I was thinking about Dragon Tail, but Muck's gonna try and poison me, so I'm gonna go for the flinch again. Haha! -ha, good job, Rampage! Do it again! Oh! Well, we're just gonna keep doing this because I have plenty of waterfall PP left. Oh, dang, I, I, I missed that one. Oh, crap, and now I'm poisoned. I was so good about not smiling stupidly every time I say PP and then I just mess that up. Alright, one more rampage. Then I'll take you out of there. Oh, you! Ah, the toxic install move. Please don't let Protect work this time. Good. He didn't even try. Alright. Good job, Rampage. I'm proud of you. And Kitsune is 42. Yikes. A Beedrill? How cute. Uh, but we're gonna go for... You know what? Why not? Let's go for the Alola Ninetales, because she's not going to get a lot of action in this gym due to her typing. But she can take out Beedrill. Oh, uh, I'm sore. A Protect, huh? Well, we're just gonna keep doing this. Ouch, I forgot. Beedrill's bug poison, not flying. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Yep, we're gonna, um, we're gonna do switcheroonie. Whoops. <laughs> forgot the basic typing of Beedrill. Butterfly is Butterfree is bug flying. It still did a lot of damage for being not very effective. I was really hoping that it would use protect when I switched in. But it did not.
God, that's a strong Beedrill. You know, I've never raised one, but I'd like to, uh, because Mega Beedrill looks really awesome. Outrage, a dragon type move? Ow! Bugger off, you rude, soft, rude faced person. Good job, Katie. All right. Yikes. It's kind of tough. What? Extraordinary. 4,200 Poké Dollars. And I deserved every penny of that. So, you mix brawn with brains. Good strategy. That's remarkable for a child trainer. Wow, you were just a patronizing dickhead, aren't you? All right. Man, you know what? I think I'm going to have to go heal, actually. Natalia's too low, and she's my main damage dealer here. Uh, well, you know what? No. I still have Eon, so let's get a little further and find another trainer. I was a magician once upon a time, but I dreamed of becoming a ninja, so I joined this gym. Your hair is just amazing. Like, amazing. Juggler Kirk. Hmm. Interesting mashup here. Let's do Thunderbolt since nothing else we have will be workable. Wow. Good job, Catsup. Sweet. And Alolan Ninetales is 43 now. And Eon is 45. I'm done for. 1600 Poké Dollars. I love his outfit. I love the design of the jugglers. Even though I've lost, I will keep training according to the teachers of Koga, my ninja master. Let's see you beat my special techniques. Juggler Harry. Let's see what you got, Harry. Another haunter. Well, let's do it again. A thunderbolt to the face. Not bad. Ow, why didn't I KO you? That's rude. Aw oh, man, I hope he doesn't use Sucker Punch again. Okay, good. I won't deal with that. Another Haunter. Yeah. Oh, you're poisoned badly. Let's see if you can do it though. Just kinda wanna see. He may be able to OHKO the Haunter with his crunch, and then I'll pull him out again. Yep, good job. And now he'll have some poison damage and I'll switch him out so that toxic doesn't increasing doesn't increase again. Let's end with... Why not? Let's do Eon. Eon and her baddie bad. <laughs> uh, such a silly, silly name. A protect? Okay. I mean, you'd think he would have been using that on his other hunters for a while, but... Whatever you say... Baddy bad again! Wow! Is that the first time we've seen Batty Bad? That's awesome! No, no, it's not. I don't remember it looking so cool though. Huh. Oh well. Natalia grew to 43. Good, because I'm gonna need her for this next battle. You had me fooled. 1600 Poké Dollars. I like poison and sleep effects as they linger after battle. That. 
Master Koga descended from a family of ninja, a tradition that's lasted hundreds of years. What did you descend from? Well, if you're actually interested, I am an 11th generation Texan, meaning my family was in Texas before Texas was Texas. Ace Trainer Annie. Fun facts about Katie. An Ivysaur? I wasn't expecting to see that, but that's pretty cool. Hmm. You avoided it? Oh god, solar beam. What are my options? I can double team and hope it miss misses. Or I can switch in Kitsune and hope she takes it. But I don't think she's going to, so we're gonna double team. Nope. Didn't avoid it. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm so sorry, Catsup. But damn. That was a cool looking move. Alright, we're gonna send in Kitsune. She's gonna take out that Ivysaur in one hit. Dang. I was really hoping Double Team would make that a miss. Alright, she's not gonna take it out in one hit. And I will not faint from poison yet, but I will kill it next time. Uh, I need a bang trim. Alright. Good job, Kitsune. I know it hurts. I'm taking you out of there. Yes. Uh, let's go for Eon. Let's hope Eon can take it out. Alright. Let's do Glitzy Glow! That does look freaking amazing. All right, I've got a light scream up. Ouch. All right, one more and she should be donezo. Sweet. You're more skilled than I thought. 4,200 Poké Dollars. You better believe it, lady. Where there is light, there's shadow. Light and shadow. Which do you choose? Personally, I like shadow, but it's because I like being sneaky. Alright, we're gonna beat this last trainer in the gym with Eon, and then I'll go heal off camera. I also study the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using creatures. You mean Pokemon? <laughs> creatures? Tamer Edgar. So I'm just gonna glitzy glow his team into oblivion. Don't glare me. Don't glare- I just said don't glare me! Crap. At least I can't be poisoned if I'm paralyzed. But she'll probably sh shake it off at some point. Ow. God, that does a lot of move. Or damage. Good job. Go, Eon, go. Would it be funny if I just died here? Another Arbok. Sir, I judge that you have too many Arbox. Oh good, you avoided the move. Oh crap, and I'm paralyzed though. Alright. Well, it's like that turn didn't happen. I wonder what it 
it looks like if you let your Eon, like, faint, like, what the animation is. I'm kind of tempted to just leave her in here until she does faint, because now I'm curious. Is that sick of me? Like, <laughs> this might kill her, actually. Yep. Oh my god, I just let my start starter faint. Okay, now I officially feel like a shitty person. Man. All these trainers in a row are kind of tough. Alright, Psychic. Luckily I'm faster than you. <laughs> One last Arbok. He's gonna go for the glare again. Uh, crap. Crap. Look at my team, it sucks. They're, like, they're tattered. Uh, Natalia, you might end up fainting again, and I'm so sorry for that. Come on, critical. Shoot. Miss. Oh. Uh. Oh, damn. I'm still alive! Good job, Natalia! You did it! You did it! You did it! You're the best buggy one in the world! I love you! You did it again! Natalia, MVP for life. Ah, <sighs> Rampage grew to level 41. Good girl! Oh, Rampage wants to outrage. Hell yeah. So, Outrage is a Dragon-type move. 120 power, 100 accuracy. The Pokémon rampages and attacks for 2 to 3 turns, it then be uh, becomes confused. So let's see what we've got. We've got Headbutt. Oh, Dragon Tail, yes. We'll forget Dragon Tail. You beat Tamer Edgar. Ah, woo! Okay. 2460 Poké Dollars. Oh, Natalia, you are da bomb. I still have much to learn. Poor Eon. Good job, Katie. Alright, let's... I'm gonna cut here, I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna go to Koga. Uh, and then we'll have a gym leader battle. Okay, I healed up and I gave Eevee some Eevee candy I had in the jar, and we are ready to fight Koga. What? <laughs> a mere child like you dares to challenge me? The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well, I shall show you true Terra as a ninja master. This is creepy. <laughs> I am frightened. Opponents can't lay a hand on me as poison brings their steady doom. Despair as you feel the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. Well, luckily I have one on my side. And this episode's gonna run a little long, but I wanted to go ahead and get this in here. Gym Leader Koga. Wheezing. Whew, I'm actually a little nervous for this gym battle. This is definitely gonna be our hardest one so far. Bastard. Good job, Natalia. Sludge bomb. And you know what? Because I think he's probably going to protect again. I'm just going to do this. Natalia's thrilled to bits. What the? Ouch, but dude, that looked amazing, and I'm really glad we gave her that potion. Good job, Natalia. You hang in there. A gold bat. Yes. Excellent. Cats up, it is. Yikes. Man, explosion looked awesome. Mm. 
All right, Thunderbolt. Clip those wings. Good job, Kazup. Good job. Cats have grew to level 44. A muck. Yes. I gotta think about this for a second. I'm gonna see about paralyzing it and then switching in Gyarados and going for the flinch with Waterfall. Okay. Or what I'll do is send out Eon. Which I think might be a better idea. Because she has a higher chance of curing poison from herself because of her affection level with me. Yeah. Good! That gamble paid off. Alright. Glitzy Glow is ass. How threatening is that? You could protect all you want, boo. You waste your turns on that. I have 15 moves of Glitzy Glow and Ether if I need them. Plus, this will help protect me from Sludge Bomb, which is a special attack. Yep. At least he didn't go for the Toxic. And he didn't go for the Protect again. Interesting. All right, now Koga will probably heal it next turn. Hopefully he doesn't use a full restore because I want to keep that paralysis on him. Crap, now I'm poisoned. Luckily it's not badly poisoned, which is toxic. I'm just normal poison, so it'll do the same amount of damage each turn to me. Ha! You're paralyzed and you tried to use protect, which is why your dialogue came up first and you failed. Your text came up. Ha! Good job, Kaza. I love it when strategies like this pay off. Good job, Eon. Oh, thank you. What a good girl. A Venomoth now. I think Kitsune needs some time shine. Besides, my Venomoth is way better than yours. Hands down. Toasty Bugs! Didn't even go for the Toxic. <gasps> Ow! A critical hit. That hurt. Goodness. All you're doing right now, Koga, is delaying the inevitable. Wow, and I had a light screen up for that. That did a lot of damage. Good thing I'm faster. Booyah, Kasha. Dunzo. Good job, Kitsune. Level 43. And Alola Ninetales is 44. You beat Gym Leader Koga. <laughs> you have proven your worth. You got 7,040 Poké Dollars for winning. Here, take a soul badge. You got a soul badge from Koga. Now that you have a soul badge, Pokémon up to level 60 will heed your command even if you received them in a trade. Ah, take this too. We got Toxic, which might go well on uh, Natalia actually. 
It is an ancient move passed down through my family for 400 years. When hit with Toxic's poisonous effects, a Pokémon will take more and more damage with each turn that passes in battle. It will surely terrorize your opponent. Eon is so happy over the win that it's laughing. Good girl. Ah. I am happy too, Eon. All right, that is five badges down, you guys. How awesome is that? See what a little nine tails has to say. Stars. Nine tails is looking at your new badge and appears very happy. Sweet. Well, I am gonna head to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and maybe do some Pokemon Ghost stuff off camera. Hope, like, try and get them to connect again. But for now, that is the end of episode thirty-one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really. I love getting a new gym badge, and look, there it is! All my badges. That was really satisfying, that was a good battle. It was not super easy. Uh, but if you enjoyed it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, and follow me on Twitter at TYTGaming, capital K, capital C, and have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.